Chris Hertz here, Hertz and Dunn Masonry and Landscapes, summer 2014. Today we are demonstrating uh, marking out templates and cutting them and transferring them onto stone. We're on a pool job here today in Solbury, Pennsylvania, where we have replaced a brick pool edging and we're now transferring that into a blue stone. As you can see here, it is not your average straight or circular pool coping it has very lots of twists and turns so what we did here is we used this foam board and we marked out the shapes and cut the shapes first and we'll be transferring those then onto stone and so we can get an accurate cut what this really does is it enables us to really work with them manipulate the foam board and if you know if we do screw up we're screwing up with a four dollar piece instead of a hundred and eighty dollar piece so here you can see the curve is, it's, it's a nice curve, and we'll be doing this out of two stones. Here's the one where we had to match it up here to the curve of the hot tub, and then with the curve of the flow here. We have the SEP here entrance. You can also see in the background our uh, handy dandy way of keeping the debris out of the pool without lowering the pool uh, level itself to really compromise the equipment and the functionality of the pool. It's actually working quite well. Luckily enough, we had the kayaks on hand. Thank you very much. Here we are transferring the templates onto the stone. As you can see, they don't sell stones in the perfect uh, template form. So we're gonna have to work them and manipulate them ourselves. What you wanna do is make sure that your template is fitting everywhere on your stone. You have plenty of overhang. You don't want it ever to go to the edge because that makes cutting it a little bit more difficult when it goes right off the edge. So what you'll do is you'll just kind of place it right here, make sure it's all level, and then without really moving the template too much, you'll, you'll just go right around and mark the stone. You want to make sure the template does not move while marking, otherwise your, your, shape, will, uh, your shape will be off. And you want to be careful of any imper imperfections where the template got bumped a lot of times these corners are very difficult you want to make sure they're very sharp you want to go away from the corner when when you're marking and now we can fast forward to uh, a little bit ahead so you don't have to watch me just kind of mark these all out <laughs> 